his life and pull us into that world where he lived. I remember hearing it for the first time when I was about 16 or 17 years old, and it spoke to me then, and it speaks to me now. Just a quick little reshoot because I forgot to mention it earlier, but I can't make this video without talking about the fact that Donald Fagan got Michael Greger to come in and lay down a beautiful solo over the bridge of this tune. Kudos to Donald Fagan for always hiring the hippest jazz horn players to play the solos on his albums. He always did. Play the end out for you because I want I want to talk about the ending just very briefly. Hi, buddy. He's got the horns, and we end up in G like that. But he goes through all the flat keys again, just one more time to kind of like wrap it up, I think, and, and include a little bit of the intro, a little bit of the bridge, a little bit of the flat keys. Back a few years ago, before I had nicer recording equipment, I made a whole arrangement. Well, I used Hans's, but I think I added a part of what I thought was included in the doll arrangement. And I'll put a little link to that at the end. Yeah. It was those six parts. The song was so dependent upon those tight vocal harmonies. I don't know if the singing It's a decent recording. If you stopped at Steely Dan, I would encourage you to watch all of Donald Fagan's solo album. I love this one probably the most, and maybe Comic Three Out is my second favorite. But all of the work is very, very good. I hope that you like it.